the concept of uh, glow sticks with uh, photoluminescent uh, material, which lasts for 10 years, as we learned uh, during, yes. the, during the presentation, um, is a fantastic solution. That, and that is something, personally, I've never thought of using glow sticks on a, on a construction site. I don't know about you, Dave. No, not before. Um, that's, that's been fantastic. That was, that, was, that was outside the square thinking with a real world application. And that's what engineering is all about. The challenge we gave the students was to design a, a temporary flow path uh, around a construction site in the floodplains of the Cataract Cove Creek area. The key criteria was minimum of 100 metres long because that's the space we needed to work in. Um, and we had to deliver 60 megalitres of water a day through the bypass and we had to prove 60 megalitres a day so there needed to be some kind of measuring device to prove that flow. The, the beauty of this um, scenario is that in science I can teach them the theory. I can teach them the knowledge. They can find out through an inquiry and do some research. But it's the application of that knowledge. So in maths, um, the maths that came out of this was a need to know maths. I can't solve this problem if I don't understand how to calculate flow. So um, our solution is underground piping. So we want to lay two 80 centimetre in diameter pipes and 10 metres in length underground. Uh, the fish and the water will travel through the pipe from the Murray River to the Epic Creek. Yeah, it's a lot different to how you would usually do just a maths or science class. And you're not just sitting down writing. You're actually thinking about it, thinking why you're writing it, thinking how you're going to do it. When they first like pitched the idea, it was just kind of three things that you had to do and it just seemed like it was going to be pretty simple and then all the maths came in and the science came in and just all of that stuff came in and it was a lot more difficult than we first thought. We have the PVC pipes here that have the paint on them to protect from the UV. We all know how to use a computer. And we, we've played Minecraft before, like we know how to, to use it and we, we were thinking, we're like, we're pretty good at it. We could actually use that to make the model because it, it can demonstrate everything we needed. And making a model, like a physical model is sometimes quite difficult and it sometimes doesn't work out how you want. But in like a, a digital one, you can do whatever you want. When you invite industry into the classroom, um, you're giving them a chance to address a real world problem, something that's actually really happening out there in, in industry and in, in the world. They've gone into it in great detail, construction methodology, it's almost embarrassing, but that's what we get paid to do and we've got grade six and seven kids who have gone into plant materials and equipment, how they're going to get it in there, what's the right size piece of equipment to do the job. Um, absolutely has blown me away. The, the level of detail they've gone into with materials and construction methodology is just amazing. That unbiased approach to a problem where they've got a world of different solutions. Um, they haven't delivered a number of these so that they don't have the preconceived ideas. Um, it's, it's really shown through in their presentations. This whole program is about inspiring the next generation of scientists, technologists, mathematicians and engineers. Um, and, and that's what we've hoped to achieve. In 10 years time, we may be working with some of these kids and, and that's a pretty inspiring thing to be a part of.